Hello everyone, Mohamed here from Artila and uh, this uh, feature coverage is really a powerful one. Uh, it's about our standalone executable bots feature, uh, which is basically about you getting the ability to create your own automation software. So it's a very quick one, uh, only two points that uh, we want to share with you. Um, first, we will see what the definition. I already started it and also we will explain a little bit the differences in terms of licensing uh, and then uh, we will give you a demo so let's look at the first point so like I said it's a function that allows you to compile your automations into an executable software it is a software that can run on its own uh, without Artila uh, what is the value added and the value added here is that it can release uh, Artila software so that you can use Artila for designing, editing and updating your automations. So it allows that automation to become an independent software that you can run. And you can run multiple software like this on, on one computer, uh, a local computer or remote computer. And uh, I was uh, talking about the licenses. Um, so when you have um, the equivalent of our small business license, you can create as many standalone software as you want. There is no limitation on, on the number. The limitation is that that software that you're going to create can only be run on the machine that had that Artila license that generated it, generated it in the first place. So it's mainly for self-use. So if you're a small company and you're doing automations for yourself, for your, for your business to save time and multiply your, uh, your outreach, that's very good. Now, if you're an agency or if you want to take it to the next level and make money out of the software, the automations that you create, then you need to go with the enterprise license. So the enterprise license also allows you to generate an unlimited number of standalone executables. And the particular difference is that those standalone software, they're what we call unlocked, meaning that they can run on any machine. And I will show you in the demo uh, I will upload uh, that automation to a, a remote desktop and I will run it there th and that desktop doesn't have Artila at all. So that's the unlock, just like the SIM cards when they were locked to a phone and then they're unlocked and you can use them on any phone. It's the same principle. And the second advantage that you have when you have the enterprise license is that you actually get the rights to sell your own so automation software. So you create it with Artila, you compile it into an executable, you brand it, and then you can sell it to your market. Uh, that, those are the main differences. And let's now uh, look at a, a specific uh, standalone software that uh, I just did. Uh, a couple of uh, days or weeks ago, we released the template for scrapping AppSumo expenses and then finding out uh, the amount spent in total. So I just modified a little bit that automation so that it can actually load the credentials from a text, text file, a local text file. We will do another video on how to actually do, how do, how do you modify a, or how do you adapt an automation so that it can work better as a standalone software. We will cover that in depth in a separate video. So today is really about just showing you quickly uh, the compiled software and how it can run on, on a different computer. So as, as I said, uh, this is a, an automation, a normal automation. This one here, AppSumo Expenses, as a software. So that's how I differentiate it with my automation version. And then how I generated it is that I go here on the left on bots. And then you can create a new executable. You select the project and then you go about it. You can configure a couple of things. And once you have done that, you have a little button here that will compile that automation into software and that will actually uh, create everything you need into a folder and this is the folder that you get uh, with the executable file and then there is a configuration file this is what checks the license and so on and then this is what i was talking about it will read the credentials from this file so that our users are independent from the automation they can uh, so by default it's like this and then the user will just change, replace the email, replace the password and then it will work. They only have to do it once. So I've done it here on my credentials.txt and I can run this bot here on my computer and I will show you now. 
So you can see that it's starting here uh, and it's launching the browser. And I've created a very quick uh, intro page with WordPress. Uh, so actually I created an intro page and another page that will display at the end of the automation to say thank you very much and so on. And here you can actually monetize it. You could put some adverts uh, if you want to have the software for free and make money out of the ads. Or you could put a payment or a verification. And you can see the automation is on its way. It already started on page one and it's going to go through every single purchase here uh, and then save the amount and compile it. So even if I stop it right now, it will already save the few uh, URLs that it went through. And you can see that here it created a CSV file. And this CSV file, once it does the whole job, it will contain all the data. You can open it with um, Google Sheet or you can open it with Excel and just convert text to columns. I'll do it very quickly just to show you. And I didn't let it go very far, so we only have one result. But as you can see, it captures the URL uh, of the expense and the amount and the status. And then you can just do a sum up and it will summarize everything. But let me show you how to get this to actually work on another computer. So if I go back now and I just and you see here, I did some branding. We will cover it on another video, but I, we can brand the folder. So I just copy this folder and I have here my remote desktop, which is a completely different machine uh, that is hosted online. And I'm just cop I just did control C, control V from the folder. And now it's going to upload, uh, as you can see here, I will move my camera. It's uploading the, the folder. I have a very slow connection, so it's going to take a little while. Okay, the upload has finished and you can see that I have my folder here and I can launch it. So this is a completely different machine. It doesn't have RTLI, it has nothing. But because I have the enterprise license, my automations can run on any other desktop. I can sell it to clients. I can distribute it for free and put advertising. So let's launch it here. Uh, you can see that it, you see here it's checking the, 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 the licensing issue. And now I have a weird resolution, but you can see that it's doing the same as on my computer. So this could be uh, the computer of a client. Uh, he or she can change the, their own credentials and launch it on their computer. And uh, there is no sign, uh, no explicit sign that this was done by Artila. So you could add your own page with your own logo, uh, tell your story or, or sell another service, you know. Uh, and as you can see, it's doing the same job. It's right now going through every single invoice, capturing the, the amount. I'll let it do two or three. All right, I closed it uh, and you can see that now there is a new file with the timestamp with the output CSV. I don't have any Excel uh, software on this computer. So you as you can see, I cannot open it, but it's the same principle. So this was a quick presentation of what is the standalone uh, feature, the standalone compiling feature for you to make your own software. I hope you can see the value in this. Uh, it can really uh, creates a good return on investment. It can create new channels of revenues if your automations are wanted and if your automations are actually complicated to do, uh, they are even more rewarding. So that's the idea here is to really leverage that time that you spent learning how to use Artila, uh, the time that you spent finding the locators and debugging and so on. Uh, now it can become uh, really much more valuable. And be patient with us. We will release other videos on how to do this exactly. This is just a quick presentation of the feature. Thank you and see you on the next one.